The rise of Malaysian semiconductors due to the US-China tech wars. Imagine a small country in Southeast Asia, often overshadowed by its larger, tech-savvy neighbors, quietly emerging as the next big player in the global semiconductor industry. That's right, we're talking about Malaysia. Thanks to a brewing tech war between the United States and China, Malaysia has found itself in the perfect position to take on a new role, and it's attracting attention from major chip giants like Intel, Micron, Infineon, and even Chinese semiconductor companies. Today we're diving into how Malaysia's semiconductor industry is booming, what it means for the country and why the whole world should be paying attention. But first, let's rewind a bit. Malaysia's rise in semiconductors isn't happening out of nowhere. This story has roots stretching back 50 years right to a place called Penang, a small island in Malaysia that's now known as the Silicon Valley of the East. In 1972, Intel opened its first production facility outside of the United States right here in Penang, kicking off a wave of tech investment. Soon, other companies like AMD, Renaissance, which was Hitachi back then, and Keysight Technologies, formerly Hewlett Packard, started flocking to Malaysia. With this, Penang became a crucial player in the back end of semiconductor manufacturing, handling the packaging, assembling, and testing of chips for decades. But here's where things get really interesting. Malaysia isn't just sticking to this back-end work anymore. Now it's setting its sights on moving up the chain to the front end of semiconductor manufacturing, which includes wafer fabrication and integrated circuit design. This shift is huge because it means Malaysia is gunning for a much bigger piece of the tech industry pie. But why are these tech giants, especially the big dogs of the semiconductor world, making a beeline for Malaysia? What's the deal with Penang? Well, for starters, Malaysia has an ecosystem that's hard to bid. Penang has an established semiconductor infrastructure. It's strategically connected to global supply chains and the local expertise in chip manufacturing is world class. And if that wasn't enough, building some products in Malaysia lets these companies dodge the tariffs slapped on Chinese goods by the US, which is a massive advantage right now. On top of that, the Malaysian government is determined to create its own semiconductor champion, a homegrown company that can become a leader in the global semiconductor scene. This could eventually make Malaysia a top destination for cheap manufacturing and design in Asia. But Malaysia isn't the only country in the region with big dreams. Rivals like Vietnam and India are also ramping up their semiconductor game, so the competition is heating up. Of course, it's not smooth sailing. Malaysia has a few big hurdles to overcome if it wants to keep attracting top semiconductor talent and investment. What's the biggest issue? A severe shortage of skilled talent in Penang semiconductor industry. Let's be real, semiconductor engineers are in high demand everywhere and Malaysia is struggling to keep up. The country's talent pool is getting poached by other tech hubs like Singapore, for example where engineers get better pay and benefits. Then there is politics. As Malaysia builds its semiconductor industry, it has to walk a fine line between the United States and China. And right now, the US isn't exactly thrilled with Malaysia's close ties to China and BRICS. Washington is watching carefully, especially since some Chinese semiconductor manufacturers have already started setting up shop in Penang. If the US thinks these moves are too close for comfort, it could impose sanctions which would mess with the flow of Chinese investment into Malaysia. But here is where things get tricky. The US has a significant presence in Penang too, so if sanctions start flying, there is a real risk that US companies with Malaysian operations could get caught in the crossfire. And then there is the practical stuff. Traffic congestion is a nightmare in and around Penang, driving up costs and making daily commutes a headache for everyone involved. Plus, industrial land prices have skyrocketed and engineering salaries aren't high enough to compete with other countries. If Malaysia doesn't address these issues, its semiconductor dreams might stay just that dreams. So what does Malaysia need to do to cement its place as a major player in the semiconductor industry? First off, the country needs to aggressively court high-end investments to, to build a more robust semiconductor sector. It also needs to address the talent shortage, possibly by offering higher wages and better incentives to attract and retain engineers. Growing local champions in the semiconductor industry could be a game-changer helping to build a self-sustaining ecosystem. If Malaysia can't keep up, it risks losing out to regional competitors like Vietnam and India who are building their own semiconductor industries at breakneck speed, often with high state incentives and a surplus of skilled engineers. 
And here's the real kicker. Despite billions of dollars in investments, Malaysia still doesn't have plans to build a major semiconductor fabrication facility like a TSMC fab. With around 80 semiconductor fabs planned globally in the coming years, Malaysia could miss out on an opportunity to truly solidify itself in the semiconductor industry. So what do you think? Is Malaysia on its way to becoming a semiconductor giant or will its challenges hold it back? Drop a comment below, hit that like button if you found this breakdown interesting and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on more deep dives into tech and global markets. Till next time, bye!